As I was walking through the local nature reserve, I noticed a spider web that was looking quite iridescent and very colorful at a certain angle while being backlit by the sun. I found a really interesting article that sums up quite well why this phenomenon occurs. I will leave a link in the description to the original source. Apparently, what we are seeing is due to mainly diffraction and also refraction. Because the strand of spider silk is only about two to three times the size of the wavelength of visible light, the interaction between them can be quite significant. When a wave of light hits the web, it gets scattered in many different ways. The wave might move around the web, or it gets reflected by the web, or sometimes even moves through the material of the web. Exactly what happens depends on the angle of the light, the thickness of the specific strand of web, and the slight imperfections on the surface of the strands of the web. The white sunlight that hits the web is essentially broken up into pieces, one wave of light that was delayed as it was making its way through the strand of silk is combined with a wave that had curved around the silk and also with another wave that was reflected from an imperfection on another part of the strand. The so-called troughs and crests don't line up and that leads to interference. Some crests build to higher peaks while others get annihilated by troughs. Overall the wavelength of the light changes and the color changes as well because the interference pattern is different for every part of the web we see all those beautiful iridescent colors. I also have another series of images I wanted to show you. These were all taken in our backyard where I spotted a small abandoned cobweb with a myriad of tiny water droplets hanging onto the strands. I decided to convert these images into black and white as the monochrome tones really highlight the beautiful structures and transform the elements into more abstract artistic frames overall. I hope you like this episode on spider webs. If you are fascinated by spiders, then definitely check out this mini series I made on a gorgeous female golden or beaver. I'm sure you'll enjoy that one. Thanks for watching and see you all very soon in the next one.